Hi everyone, it's Brian Waters here from the YouTube. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I just wanted to share a little bit more about the project with you with an interview with our star Tara Fitzgerald that I was lucky enough to film during rehearsals there in London back in November. So I've just done a rehearsal and um, I'm here with Claire with Four of Wands, with Tara Fitzgerald and with Frankie, our writer-director. Um, so I really just want to speak to you, Tara, mostly. <laughs> Sorry. Good <laughs> now. Um, <laughs> And uh, first of all, just thank you for, um, you know, being part of this project and for supporting us. And well, thank you for inviting me. Amazing yeah. service. Yeah. Such, a, such an accomplished script and a good, worthy project. Well, I wanted to ask you, really, and that, and that sort of leads into it. What were the main things that you liked about the project when you first thought about it? I think, uh, well, Colette described the aim of it, and that really appealed to me. Mm. I thought... Um, that sounded like an interesting challenge, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and then the material, you know, actually the material, it was the, the world it was invoking. I was very, I'm very interested in that. And then further to that, talking today with Frankie, you know, the 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 line that is taken because mm -hmm. um, it's got some important issues mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, discussed, yeah. but not in a heavy-handed. That's right. right. Yeah, it's a nice balance, isn't really it? Really nice yeah. balance. Yeah. yeah. So I wanted to, like, from the perspective of my project, the QTube, which yeah. is the composer community. Yeah. Um, I wanted to just say what a boost it was for us in trying to put this project together when we got you on board, and oh. I want to thank you for that because, as you possibly know, uh, the majority of the project has been uh, crowdfunded yeah. by the composer community. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, and. Thank um, you. And, and obviously with our Kickstarter campaign that we ran, uh, when we were able to announce your participation, it just gave a nice little oh, spike. That's good. Oh, good. Yeah, so thank you uh, from that perspective on behalf of the community, really. Because oh, I know that it's going to be an amazing thing for them to be able to work with as well. Yeah. And to feel part of it. Yeah, I think that's the thing, is that it, uh, as we discussed before, you know, usually it doesn't happen in that way. Yeah. And so to actually be totally immersed in the material from mm. From the get-go, it was a fantastic opportunity, isn't it? And yeah, it's vaulted. It, yeah, no, definitely. When we, um, and I've said this before, um, when we came to writing with composing in mind from the get-go, yeah. it did sort of, it presented an interesting challenge yeah. um, when crafting the story, because it is something, I think, that when writers are working on their work, it's, it's the, maybe at the back of their mind. Mm. Um, and from the get-go to know that the film is funded by the community mm. and for the community, mm -hmm. um, and what do they want? Do they want comedy? Do they want a drama? Do they want horror? Like, well, let's try and craft something that has a couple genres in there and mm -hmm. gives them something to work with. Um, yeah. And also trying to create a script that doesn't have one set way the music can go. Yeah. Um, I like to think of this film and when, when they watch it, um, hopefully it, it portrays that, but when they're able to take the music where they want, you could so easily make this a really exciting, upbeat, interesting experimental score, but then you could also do, you know, some orchestral sounds and they're really like, they, yeah. can, they can really take this and do what they want with it. That's for to yeah. achieve with the writing. And you, you really do realise how uh, integral the part mm -hmm. to, to a movie's success or, or failure mm -hmm. with the music is. Yeah, it's really mm -hmm. fundamental. Yeah. 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 What's your take on nature? Yeah, well, um, we were discussing it earlier that um, I think it's been so well drafted because... Um, to some degree, she's an archetype that you know is very easily identifiable, and also a character that has been so much in the forefront of our imaginations and our reality over the last few years. Mm -hmm. The kind of character, let's say, um, I mean, we've had to give over quite a lot of our power mm -hmm. on a daily basis to you know the last three years mm -hmm. to, to medical yeah. people. Mm -hmm. in a way that we would never have contemplated before. So I think they've loomed, characters I've mentioned have loomed very large in our lives. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason she's interesting is because you've managed to capture the, the, the delicacy of, of the role that she plays. You know, she's in this, I don't know how much is, is to be revealed. <laughs> we, we, we can edit this. Yeah. Yeah. No spoilers. <laughs> um, but, but to capture the delicacy of her function um, in, the, in this world. Um, and that in very, in very um, minimal, um, very minimal number of scenes, you hopefully... 
And there they go, <laughs> doing their work. Well done, guys. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> exactly. Yes, never to yeah, be forgotten. Okay. <laughs> um, in, a, in a very minimal number of, of scenes, you managed to uh, craft a journey mm. for her and see the complications of, of running um, a play, a care, basically. Yeah. Um, which is ongoingly complicated, as we know. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the difficulties of going away. Um, but but also things like funding and things that are, that mean a lot to me, you know, personally, uh, the importance of, of people like nature, mm -hmm. you know, and the vocation, um, the idea of a vocation and um, and what that means and um, yeah, the issues of our times. So. Lovely. Okay. Hi again, I just want to interrupt briefly to let you know that this fantastic short film that we've made with Tara uh, is currently in post-production and there's still an opportunity for you to be one of the three composers officially on this film which will be sent to festivals around the world. Uh, if you'd like to find out more details about how to do that, then click on the link in the description down below and you'll find all the information you need how to do that. Uh, it's a great opportunity for our community and I really hope that you'll take part. Thank you and uh, let's go back to the interview. And do you want to say anything about the other characters while we're here, while I've got you? Yeah, well the other characters too, that uh, uh, it's a fascinating um, way of exploring you know, more <laughs> It, the, the characters enable you, they feel very fresh and they enable you to explore the, the realm of the care home in a, in mm. a very new and positive way, I think, a very, um, very human way. Mm -hmm. um, I think the story, and I've just worked, been working um, on, a, on a few of the scenes, so it, it feels very alive and it yeah. feels very exciting. Um, the writing's very, very strong. Yeah, lovely. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we've got a very small cast of characters, but they really bring a depth, don't they, to yeah, the story? very much. And the journey that they go through in a very short space of time. Yeah, well, it's that. I think that, you know, sometimes you read a short film and it feels like a short film, mm. and then other times you really feel like you've gone on sort of a proper journey, a full, full body journey, you know, um, and, it, and, it, and you can't quite believe it's any... Yeah. that many yeah. you know, 15 mm -hmm. pages yeah. you know mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I think you've managed to achieve that and then the music will add I was going to say wondrous yeah that's really going for me yeah you know the the journey that you say it just doesn't it's not just so obvious it's not just like yeah we'll just have one score it's you know it's going to be really mm -hmm. I'm very excited to yeah. see what the community can come up with mm -hmm. yes. yeah very very excited because for the first time really when it, I've sort of I wrote, I know that there are areas where the score is going to be important. Um, I mean, they, they may have surprised me and, and be areas that I haven't thought about mm. when they do it. So um, I'm just really excited to see what they come up with. Yeah, so, yeah it's going to be really, it's going to be exciting. One of the things that um, when I spoke to Tara about um, why she also wants to do a project like this was, um, I'm not going to put words yeah, into yeah, that, yeah, but yeah, about... <laughs> um, giving back, you know, giving back as well, yeah, yeah. About the fact that as an established uh, actress as you are, you know, just coming into um, into a community where, you know, it, it really helps to have that kind of experience come and, and work side by side with, you know. Definitely. Than... Well, I love being involved with all levels, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. in, in, all, in all fields, all mm -hmm. levels, because I think you... I know I learn so much from people. Mm -hmm. it, it's a bit of a cliche, but it's true. Mm -hmm. You know, you it can be out of the mouths of babes. Mm -hmm. things, yes, you know, and, um, and also, uh, you know, I I'm in my fifties, my mid fifties. You fall out of like awareness. Mm -hmm. It's strange. I never thought I'd, I'd become that thing, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you suddenly realise you're not in the groove that mm -hmm. you're in. You know what I mean? Or things aren't as obvious. Or think I have to be explained. <laughs> Things have to be explained, mm -hmm. um, and that's just normal. You know, that's just yeah, unavoidable. Growing older, yeah, yeah unavoidable. unavoidable, and it has its benefits too. Yeah. And its benefits, but um, but certainly in this regard, to cross fertilize like that, I mm. think it's just wonderful. And I don't feel like I do enough. That's what I was sort of saying to Claire, is that I feel like if there's more that I can do to, because I've been so lucky and I've been, mm. you know given so many opportunities in my life. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, 
anything that comes along. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you so Thank much. You yeah. And Thank I you. look forward to um, starting the shoot next week. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Guy. Thank Hopefully, we'll all stay well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for coming back. So thanks Tara and thank you to you guys for listening. Thanks to everyone that supported our Kickstarter, of course, to make this happen. And I really cannot wait to share this film, to share bits and pieces of this film with you. And I'm really excited as we're receiving now entries for our composer call for those three opportunities to be part of the official release of the film. So good luck to everyone that's taking part in that. Uh, I wish you all a great weekend, uh, keep creating and I'll speak to you very soon with more exciting news from the QTube. Thanks and bye for now.